What is up YouTube and welcome to this Joker video. Yes, the the real joke isn't that the Patriots lost to Jacksonville last night and I'm in mourning, but the Joker movie, the standalone movie, this new Elseworlds sort of mythos that they're creating with DC, yes, the Todd Phillips movie has had some images and we see Joaquin Phoenix for the first time looking like the Joker. And I have to say I'm not keen. I, I'm honestly not keen on this to be honest, because it's not, I I don't really like it. I like the killing joke idea of this failed comedian who had a family and things like that. And then he went on to get involved with crime and then fell into the chemicals at the Ace Chemicals Lab, then creating the Joker that we know, love, and we can't hate him. We can't hate the Joker. He's just too good. But what we've got here is a new character, uh, kind of new take on the Joker who looks like a creepy sort of stalkerish dude who looks sort of like Javier Bardem in uh, No Country for Old Men and it just looks absolutely strange. It looks like he's going to be playing an absolute complete weirdo and I have no doubt that Joaquin Phoenix can play this role. He looks maybe just a tad like Jake Gyllenhaal was in Nightcrawler as well, which is a great movie as well. You need to go and check out that great movie. And of course, he's going to be playing Mysterio as well over in Spider-Man. So we've got some great kind of actors playing these roles in the upcoming comic book movies. Now, of course, this looks really weird, but we've had footage of Joaquin Phoenix playing the Joker. And he's going to be called Arthur Fleck. So the, the character's name will be Arthur Fleck until he becomes the Joker and he will be living with his mother and we see in a video clip of him actually leaving the Ha Ha Talent Agency which is what I expect Mark Moran is going to play that that's going to be his sort of talent agency and then we've also got Robert De Niro playing a late night TV host so it does look like we will have the sort of circus kind of thing going on and I expect that where King Phoenix is Arthur Fleck will want to leave this and actually go on to become a stand-up comedian because he was a failed stand-up comedian in other iterations. So I hope they stay true to that. That's what I want to see. And I want to see him turn to a life of crime. But it does look like they're playing things a bit different here. Now, considering the fact that the, the, the host, the TV host Robert De Niro, will be playing a big role in this movie, well, it does look like this could be the moment that the Joker t is becomes the Joker because he is possibly laughed off the stage by Robert De Niro's character, and then Arthur Fleck creates some sort of real hatred. This this real kind of visceral sort of hatred for this character, leading him into a descent into madness, and then maybe kidnapping him because we know that the King of Comedy is actually a big thing. Uh, the the movie with Robert De Niro, it's been. The, a lot of the source material for this movie so it's taken a lot of inspiration there so it looks like they may follow a similar role all the same which I think would be pretty darn cool if that happened but I'm not sure if I want it for a Joker movie and I'm not sure I want this I want a comic book adaptation it seems like they're going more of a Gotham way where Gotham plays very fast and loose with their their origins of the character there. So I'm curious to see where this actually goes next. And the big question is, who will play Thomas Wayne? Because Alec Baldwin was tipped for the role, and then he said that he's not gonna play the role of Thomas Wayne. And it's it's heavily rumored that Thomas Wayne will play some sort of MAGA Trump style fan in this movie. So it's really weird. So this is set very early on in the mythos of Batman as well in the 1980s. And we also have the amusement mile which is where this the actual whole thing happened in the killing joke where the the theme park was and where commissioner gordon was taken so they're playing they, they, there's some easter eggs in there but the fact that thomas wayne is involved is very curious and there has been heavy rumors that this version of the joker shares a paternal father with bruce wayne which would become huge when explain why the two have such hatred and why there is such a rivalry between the two but he doesn't know who batman is unless he does know and that's kind of why he's having fun he just doesn't let him know who he actually is but yeah uh, it is curious nonetheless now it looks like they're playing a very gritty kind of more modern take. It looks like they're going more like the Dark Knight way of doing things, more grounded in reality, 
which I guess couldn't be a bad thing after Justice League and the previous DC movies have flopped heavily, and they're going back to the roots of making a very grounded movie all the same. And this is in the Elseworlds imprint, and my theory is that they're going to go for a multiverse-style story, so each one of these stories will be set on a different Earth, just like Elseworlds, and come in with the multiversity. Now let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please drop a like, please do subscribe. I'll see you soon, and goodbye.